Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 242. I spent some time today working on a proposal to speak to an MGMA group. If I haven't spoken to your group recently, I'd love to do a bring your laptop, follow along, see one, do one, teach one kind of seminar when you're ready. Here's an easy shortcut. We're still on kind of data entry basics and I want to show you one that's really helpful and then show you how to turn it off if it's not helpful. If this is just say a list of insurance companies you're entering, you're entering a bunch of claims. What you can do is, well, let's, let's come over here and I'll show you how it works first. If you start typing BLU, it says, oh, I see Blue Cross up in the list. I'm going to fill it out for you. And you do UH and it's going to do it for you. And even if you do a C, it's going to get Cigna. It works right below the list. If you come down here and start typing CIG, it's not going to find it. But if you stay in the list and let's do a Aetna, it will. Normally, that's a great shortcut. It's very helpful as long as you are part of this list. Excel will look above and say, oh, I see you tried to type Aetna before. I'll help you. And you could always come over here and do Aetna. Um, uh, let's do supplement. Something like that. And you can keep them separate. And then when you start typing Aetna, then it's not going to know what to do until you get to there. And then it's going to say, all right, now I know that's Aetna supplement. I'll even capitalize it for you. I'll make your life easy. Nine and a half times out of ten, that is a handy feature and a great shortcut that's built into Excel. For the oh, maybe half a time out of ten, maybe two, three, four, five times out of a hundred, where you don't want Excel to do that, let me show you how to turn it off. If you go into the File menu and you go under Options and you go to Advanced and these Editing Options, we were after Edit pressing Enter. This is where we're here navigating cells the other day. Today what we're going to do is we're going to turn off auto complete for cell values and if I click OK down here now when I come down here and start typing UH I'm not getting anything and BLU I won't get anything and if I come back here and go to advanced and turn it back on and click OK now when I come over here I better get rid of these or it's going to screw it up and if I type BLU we're back you say Nate when would I not want that to happen if you had Medicare and Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage and Medicare Replacement or a bunch of things that looked very similar and you didn't want to inadvertently get the wrong one. That's how to turn it off so that it doesn't inadvertently take the first one off the list and you accidentally get the one you don't want. Nine and a half times out of ten, this is a great shortcut and you don't have to do anything. It's on by default. If you ever find that it's not working and it's not on by def uh, default for whatever reason on a computer you go to, Options advanced editing options and it's right here enable autocomplete most of the time it's good on the occasional time you say no I want to make darn sure I got the one I want you just turn it off and then turn it back on when you're done it's a very handy shortcut again to get data in there quickly that's what I wanted to show you today I've got another uh, default shortcut what do I do when I'm entering data kind of trick to show you next time thanks for watching